Hello guys, it's Zagabod112 here and I have a cool new invention for you. This is a um, shop that um, requires actually no materials. You can trade in materials for just straight cash and you can trade them back. So here we go, you can see I have a diamond and I want to sell it. I believe this is the thing, sell it. And that, it'll take my diamond and as you can see, the money I currently... Yep, yeah, there you go. The money has gone up to 500. It was zero originally, but I kind of want it back, so I can just hit this button, and it'll trade them back. You just do this, um, pretty much forever. Um, so what you're gonna want to do? I'm gonna have a tutorial how to set this up. Okay, so first things first. Slash so score word objectives. I'm gonna take that away and re recreate it for um, your guys' sake. Slash scoreboard objectives add money or whatever you want there, dummy. So what this will do is it'll take the scoreboard, it'll add an objective called money, which is of dummy. That's its type, which means it can basically just be edited only by command blocks and player commands doesn't increment or anything unless someone or something tells it to so I'll create that then you want to make it um, show on the side of the screen so slash scoreboard objectives set display sidebar then your objective name Okay, so that will make it show up right here. It doesn't show up because currently it doesn't have a value. It's not even zero yet. It just doesn't have a value. So right here, you're gonna want to have this pressure plate at your spawn, so that when players come in, what it does is it adds zero to their value. What that does is without actually changing their value from zero, it makes it a number value. So it'll show on the sidebar whenever they spawn and then you just want to set up the shops if I can get away from the slag for a second no? no? okay whatever <laughs> so um, what this is this is actually really innovative for me <laughs> what this does is when you hit the button it tests to see if you have 500 or more in your money okay and what it does that when it does that, it activates this comparator, which um, removes 500 from your money and gives you a diamond. Just, just pause it right now for the command. It's not with that. You don't really need to pause it for that one, but yeah. If you don't have this, then um, that when a person hits the button, this will go on and it won't go off until someone hits the button without the money which will mean that no one will be able if someone uses this correctly then no one will be able to use it ever again unless you put this right in right here this I, I don't think this technically has to be set to three ticks but I just set it because that's a good time and um, also very important note this needs to be in subtractive mode which means that thing right there is lit up this is basically um this is the sell diamond for money. Basically what it does is it clears a diamond from your inventory and if it was successful, if you don't have any diamonds, it's, it um, will be, it'll just not clear anything and it won't do anything, nothing will happen. But if you do have a diamond, it'll take it away and it'll be successful, which will output a burst here. Scoreboard, players, add money. So it'll give you the money. That's just basically how it works. You can see if I don't have the money, I'm not given a diamond, nor do I go negative 500. If I do not have the diamond, I do not gain the money or anything. Can't really have a negative number of diamonds, that would suck. Just trade back and forth. This, of course, can be done with anything. The variables are. That, that's right there. You're going to want to change this number. This 500 here is the amount of money required to buy it. 
Um, this number has to be the same as the other one in there, or else it, it just will be weird. It won't work right. It will work right in certain scenarios, but not others. Just depends. This has to be the same number. This is the price for the diamond, or gold ingot, or gold lock, or whatever. And this, give diamond, of course. Just tell it what to give you as the player. And this right here. Clear the diamond. This zero is apparently data values, which I have no idea what what it actually does. But it it's a zero. Zero is not too much. This is the thing that you're um, selling to the server. This is the amount. This one is the amount of items. Very important to know. Very useful at least. Over here we have the amount of money they are selling it for. So the amount of money the player is going to get. So that's the entire system. I hope this would help a lot. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.